Hello, hello, hello. It's Friday, TGIF. It's been a while. Just been hot and it's got a lot of things going on. So today I decided to make uh, meatloaf. So I have three pounds of low fat uh, ground beef. And I have one egg broken in here. I had lemon pepper, some salt, some garlic powder, and um, I added some dried parsley. If you have fresh parsley, it's even better. But dried parsley will do, it's very potent. And I'm gonna add some chopped red onion. You can use white or any other kind of onion. And some chopped celery. I also added some steak sauce. You can use barbecue sauce, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, whatever you like. And then I'm gonna add some panko. Panko is Japanese breadcrumbs and they keep things nice and crispy. I'm add some of that just to bind everything together. And instead of the traditional meatloaf pan, I'm gonna use a bundt pan. How about that? So we're gonna mix all this well together. You can use gloves if you want. You can use your bare fingers. The smell of the steak sauce is awesome. I know it's a hot day, I shouldn't be having the oven on, but I'm also baking other things. So that's a good time to make meatloaf then, because the oven is already in there. On. So I got the oven on 350. Then it makes all this really, really good. So everything has a bite and it tastes, every bite has a taste of everything. The onions, the garlic, parsley, the binding egg, the celery. And of course, meatloaf is so versatile. It can be really plain. You can add shredded carrots. I just didn't happen to have any shredded carrots today. Some people like to add shredded cheese in the mix. That's fine too. But that's what I'm doing today. And here's my bund. Bund. So you're gonna add a little bit at a time. And press it down so there's not a lot of air and bubbles in your meatloaf will break when you're slicing it. Listening to Madonna, one of my favorite albums of Madonna is Ray of Light. It's just a very mature version of Madonna in it. Then I started paying attention to her actually. Right after the musical Evita, and she played Evita Peron. She was fantastic. And the rest is history. So here's our meatloaf. It would be about 45 to 60 minutes. And once again, just press it down really good. Meatloaf is great by itself with some salad or steamed veggies. For those of you who are watching their figure, you can use mashed potatoes with it if you want, roast potatoes, no potatoes. You can do some rice cauliflower and add some cheese to it. There's a lot of different ways 
you can eat it cold in a sandwich with mustard and mayonnaise you can eat it hot it's fabulous you can put boiled eggs in the middle but we'll do this for next time see you in a bitty